Hey, this is Everistus. I'll be showing you how to change your default storage in Windows. This works, I've tested it on Windows 8 and 10, and it might work for previous versions of Windows, but I just haven't tested it. But it, it's really useful if you like have a solid state drive, probably 250, and you have a secondary st storage. This is probably like a, yeah, because I have a two terabyte secondary storage and my SSD is just for, uh, that's where I installed my boot file. So I just want to keep it really fast and it's not going to be able to hold uh, most of my apps and downloads. So I'll just move them all to the, I'll just move them all to the secondary storage. All right. So this is a really easy way to do this because once you notice, once you go to documents, just right click properties you're gonna see the default location is your C drive and also for your downloads properties default location is C drive so once you download something it's automatically gonna to go to your C drive unless you just like uh, manually change the drives every time but that's really tedious and you don't want that okay so let's get to it open your C drive once you, you need to go to users and this is the current user right here is Comfonia so here you you have all your default folders this is your video searches and uh, I'm just gonna be doing downloads and documents for right now but you could always do all of them later in your desktop too yeah that's those three are really important since you're just gonna be saving most of your stuff there anyways <coughs> So what you're going to do is make sure you have this path right here, users, then Comfonia. Just go to the whatever storage you want to put them all on. You could always put it anywhere, but I just recommend you just be consistent and put it in your on a non-removable storage. So this is my hard drive. So I just I created a folders a folder called users already. And I think I already have yeah one user, so just I'll just create Comfonia. Comfonia here, okay. And I'll just I need two windows now. Okay. So now I have that folder Comfonia. I'll just copy. I need I need downloads, documents, and desktop. So I'll just create similar folders here. Desktop, documents, downloads. All right, there you have it, and let's get the magic done right now. Okay, so once you've created those folders, all you have to do is go to documents here. I start with desktop. Desktop, right click properties, then you go to location and move location. And you're gonna need your new location. Oh, no, no. need your new location I'll just copy the path right there enter and select desktop alright just double click folder desktop select folder it's gonna ask then you're gonna hit OK that's just it yeah just old location new location yeah so just select yes and for your documents okay for my yeah, I mean, you'll already see because on desktop right now and you go to properties. What? Ah, that's not right. Desktop properties. Oh, I need to open a new window. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that, but okay. Download. You could also. I thought I created a downloads folder. 
All right, so yeah, it's just updated right now. It took some time to move some files over, so that's done. And for your downloads, you do the same thing. Properties, location, move to the new path, and select the downloads folder. And OK, move everything. So what we're going to do in documents, so you could just uh, see the difference we have a text document here and its properties C drive that's the location we're gonna move this location properties location move D drive yeah I mean if you if you set your path right you could always just change this from C to D and just move it instead of having to do this every time because it's just going to be the same path but with the letters changed select folder and OK it's going to move that text folder now so when you go to your documents folder right now it's it still has your text folder all your files in here I recommend you do this on a fresh install instead of doing it when you have like tons of files in here because it's, it's gonna take forever to move okay so once your properties your location has changed to D drive that's your default location now and then also your downloads folder properties change to D I don't know why the desktop icon is not yet updated it's still on C okay let's see refresh this refresh Oh, okay. Wow. Mm, let's 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 see what's wrong with that. Uh, users, California. Desktop did migrate. Oh, this is a quick access, so it's just saving stuff from before. Saving stuff I used previously. Okay, so this is your PC. This is your desktop properties location it's d drive general d d drive so it's 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 that's it for all of them all right so that's that's pretty much it for this tutorial so now anytime you download something it's just going to go to the default downloads folder which is your secondary storage drive it, and you don't have to worry about um you don't have to worry about your ssd getting full but you know w once you're installing some apps some of them are gonna try to install on C drive so what you're gonna do in the future is maybe copy your program files just make a folder on your D drive and name it program files and all that so once you once you when you're about to install you just change the letter from a capital C to a capital D and just hit install it's just gonna or sometimes some some applications just create the folder automatically so you just you don't have to do everything manually just change the letter and hit install and it's gonna work all right thanks i hope you found this tutorial useful if you have any questions just uh, leave a comment i'll be i'll respond i'll be happy to respond and Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Thanks.